our number one, obviously, and it is removing the source. Look, you know, I have a pet peeve with practitioners. Obviously, on this end, on the allopathic end, we know they don't get to the cause, right? They're covering up symptoms with more and more medications. But look, even alternative doctors, they're really doing a lot of the same, except we're maybe using natural things, but they're not sitting knee to knee with people and really digging in a really good history to figure out why people got sick. And you know what? What is our philosophy? You remove the interference, the body has an innate ability to heal itself, right? I mean, there's no doubt we preach it. However, chemical subluxation, see, I'm a, a chiropractor at heart, but chemical subluxation or some type of chemical interference is really what has changed today. And that's why so many of us are not seeing the results that we used to see even years ago. When you talk to old time docs, it used to seem so easy, right? But today it's not because you know what? No, no time in the history of man have we been under more of a chemical insult than we are right now. And if you do not know how to remove the source properly, you're never going to impact these really, really sick patients. Well, look, let's talk about removing the source and what that actually means, because it can mean a few different things. Look, in my own story, I had silver fillings. Matter of fact, I had two drilled out, and after that, I became very sick. Unfortunately, it took me three, four years to figure it out, so I had a lot of you know, misery in between that. But I can tell you this, I would never have recovered fully if I didn't get the source removed. If I didn't remove the remainder of the fillings correctly, so don't run out and just get your fillings taken out. There is a proper method that we teach. Um, but look, you have to remove the source. Those fillings contain 50% mercury, and yet it leaches right into your hypothalamus pituitary. I had gold and silver in. After they put the gold filling, it caused a galvanic reaction, and it caused the mercury to leach into my brain, and that's what really started my demise. Look, it could be a moldy home. So many of the patients that we see, they're living in a moldy home, uh, and them or a couple family members get very, very sick. If you don't get that person out of the home, you're never going to get them well. They're, look, Leviticus 14 in the Bible, God says, look, try this if you see this growing on your wall. If that doesn't work, basically get out and take everything and put it to a place called unclean. Basically burn all your stuff and get out. Yeah, I mean, same thing. If you don't remove the source, you're never going to go well. You know, it can mean a lot of different things, but when we look at what the body has accumulated over the years, that too is removing the source. And there's a lot of information today about different cleanses, whether it's a liver cleanse, colon cleanse, foot baths, right? You've heard it all, so have I. And not that there's anything wrong with those types of cleanses, but I can tell you this, if you don't remove the toxins from the cell, if you don't understand true cellular detox and how to fix cellular pathways, the five R's of cellular healing, right? Then you're never going to really get a patient well. See, because it's at the cell that's the magic. One of the things I always say is, look, you know, if true cellular detox has to occur at the cell, and once we impact the cell, now we can impact so much of what's happening in the body. Look, let me start here, because you'll see me drawing these circles often. That represents a cell. And this is where the big problem lies. See, once toxins enter into this cell, or once toxins even build up from the cell, because when a, uh, a cell makes energy, it makes ATP, right? Just like if I burned wood here in the room, I would create what? what? I'd create toxins. It would have to be brought out of this room, otherwise I die. Well, guess what? Your cells are the same way. When your body makes ATP, it makes a lot of waste. And your cell, when it's functioning properly, removes it. As a matter of fact, your cells bring in a lot of toxins that it has to remove. Matter of fact, the major pathway, one of the major pathways that we're going to talk about right now is something called glutathione. Most of you have heard it, I'm sure. But you know, there's still a lot of people talking about, you know, taking glutathione. And I can tell you, when you take glutathione, most often you can't get it past the gut. Even if you're successful, taking liposomal glutathione or even injecting it, the problem is, is that that glutathione doesn't make it into the cell. See, the key is this. If you want to de detox the cell, if you want to downregulate inflammation of the cell, you have to raise glutathione in the cell. And it's not as easy as you think. You know, I, I've actually injected a lot of glutathione in my day trying to get well. And in the beginning, it actually works. So a lot of these new products that get the glutathione past the gut, you know, they work in the beginning, but then they seem to not work after a while. It's because it's really not affecting the glutathione in the cell, the intracellular glutathione. But when we can raise the intracellular glutathione, and there's many ways to do that. Many fact, 
as you work with, as we worked with biochemists to do this, and this is a third generation of a product that I created that does this, we learned that there's many pathways uh, and really many stop checks that can keep glutathione raising or keep it oxidizing, which is a big problem. Look, there's a product that we created called IDS, the intracellular detox system. It contains two products, G-cell and a product called Bind. It's a two-part product, and you're, you're going to understand this part in a minute. But G-cell raises intracellular glutathione, and it does it by supporting many different pathways. Let me just show you one. With, when I said glutathione, this is the reduced form of glutathione, which downregulates inflammation, removes toxins from the cell. That is converted into a oxidized form of glutathione. The oxidized form of glutathione escapes the cell very quickly. And the problem is then your body has to actually rebuild glutathione. And it costs your body a lot of energy, a lot of ATP to do that. What it would, it, what it would rather do is take the oxidized form of glutathione and bring it back around to a reduced form, a usable form again. See, the oxidized isn't usable. But to do that, see, in very toxic people, what happens is, is they're oxidizing their glutathione. It's escaping the cell, and it's very expensive to remake it. So we, yes, we want to increase the pool of glutathione by giving the things that we need to make it, and that's in this product for doing that, but we also want to help bring it around from an oxidized, an unusable form to a usable form. But there's also other enzymes that are also can be depleted and stop somebody from raising their intracellular glutathione. So we've taken all that into account when we develop G-cell. And by the way, this is the third generation product. So I was fortunate enough to work with some really smart chemists, one of which is Dr. Shane Morris from Systemic Formulas, who actually makes the intracellular detox system, the IDS. Okay, so raising this intracellular glutathione is more important today than ever. Look, you're familiar with inflammation. It's the root cause of all diseases, right? It's the root cause of cancer, heart disease, thyroid condition, even the inability to lose weight. Well, you know, inflammation more specifically is inflammation of this cell. And once this cell membrane, which we're going to talk about in some of the future videos, becomes inflamed, now you can't get the good stuff in the cell that you need to make glutathione and other things that you're going to learn, but you can't get the toxins out. Now we start depleting our energy of the cell. We start depleting our glutathione. And you know what? Something else that I talked about in the first video, you start affecting your DNA. You can start changing your gene expression. You can start expressing conditions in diseases and symptoms that you don't appreciate. We'll put it that way. You can start developing conditions that your mom or dad or family had that, oh, it's just genetics. No, that's the old dogma. We know now you have to turn on those genes of susceptibility, but the best part is we know you can turn them off. So we know that getting rid of the toxin out of the cell actually can turn off bad genes. But when we cell becomes toxic, this toxic cesspool where you can't get the toxins out, see, that's true detox. When you can successfully you know, restore cellular function, and the first thing we're learning today is about glutathione, where you learned a little bit about methylation, which plays a role here too. But now, we bring function back to the cell. Now you're going to change lives. Now you're going to get well. It's how I got my life back. So true cellular detox starts here. But look, there's another problem that I want to teach you, or at least a problem to avoid. I said it's a two-part system, right? So the other part is this part called bind. Well, it is what it's, it says it is, bind. Well, bind is designed to pull toxins out of the body so you don't reabsorb them. Look, when you raise intracellular glutathione successfully, which most products on the market don't do that, right? Um, but when you do, you have a new problem because you bring a lot of toxins to the liver where they bind up with bile. The problem is, is you use bile to what? Digest fat, so you dump the bile into the intestines. The problem is it pulls the toxins with it. And then what happens is you reabsorb the bile and you bring the toxins. Let me just show you. I'm not the best artist in the world, but darn it, I'm going to try my best. Okay, believe it or not, that's a liver. And this is the intestines. Okay, so not the greatest, but you at least know what it is, right? Okay, so the liver, so when you raise intracellular glutathione, right? you end up bringing the toxins to the liver, 
where they end up binding up with bile. It's a normal process, but when you raise this correctly, you bring a lot of toxins there. So what happens is the liver dumps the bile in the small intestine. The bile is in here, but here's what happens. You're in the lower small intestine, your body is designed to actually reabsorb the bile. Why? Because it's, it's expensive to make, so it wants to reabsorb the bile, but what does the bile bring with it? It brings the toxins back to the liver, where it ends up auto-intoxicating, redistributing through the body, and oftentimes we're making patients worse by it's done correctly, it can sometimes make uh, patients worse. But look, this process, I said it's my third generation product creation. And when we do it right, when we raise intracellular glutathione, we bind it up in the gut and pull it out to where it belongs, right? And that's my attempt of drawing a toilet. When it, <laughs> when it goes to where it belongs and you don't reabsorb it, this is something that has been proven to work. This is something that not only myself, but thousands of doctors around the country have been utilizing this new technology. You know, so look, there's, you know, a lot of detox products out there. There's a lot of glutathione products out there. But raising intracellular glutathione, the, you know, there's a lot to it. And you'll see that G-Cell is a product that is completely different than anything on the market. Bind is a completely different product than anything on the market. Matter of fact, there's a carbon used is one of the products in Bind that is actually a special carbon that we get from far away uh, that is the cleanest carbon on the planet. It's pharmacy grade and it's super activated. It can even bind a biotoxin, which is about 400 to 1,000 angstroms. What is a biotoxin? It's what mold produces. So we use this product also to remove mold from the body. So you use it for biotoxic patients, but there's also a special humate in the product um, that actually binds inorganic toxins like heavy metals. We don't want to reabsorb these toxins, so these products don't leave the gut. And the, the purpose is, is to bind it in the gut so you don't reabsorb it. The combination, look, it works. I lost my life to learn a lot of this. You know, in these five R's, you know, you're going to see. When you put them all together, we are making a difference, I believe in my heart, like nobody else is. Next video is R number two. This is, a pro this is something that I learned not only changed my life, but it changed my adopted son's life. So stay tuned for the next video. I can't wait to teach it. And I hope you can't wait to learn it.